Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, come along with me. I am going to do two projects today. I am going to spray paint my new command hooks that I got in the mail. And then also I am going to try to clean my ceramic like cast iron Dutch oven because I think I showed you in another video that we got a new Japanese fry pot, stainless steel fry pot. So since we're not using the Dutch oven for frying anymore, I want to try to deep clean it because it's supposed to be a cream colored Dutch oven, but it looks so dirty and black from years of frying it and you know, or grease splatters and everything. So I'm going to try to clean it. And also today we were making burgers for lunch. So come along. See you in a second. Peace. Burger is inside. So I'm, I am having the uh, uh, bacon cheddar burger. They're these. Uh, yeah, I'm having a garbage. Uh, Oh, Dad's having sweet onion burger, and Mom is having chicken burger. And Dad's having saute onions on my neck. I have fresh onions for me, because I like onions on my burgers on top. It could be even saute is great. Um, crispy onions like fried onion strings and rings are good. I chopped up some lettuce, I'm chopping up tomato. And yeah, I'm going to have my burger. And then I have brioche bun here. Yeah, that's going to be burgers. And then I have fries and bacon. Yeah, you're in the house. Yeah. Look at that bacon. The French fries. And the ham. Yeah. We got burger bun, bacon, cheese, lettuce, onion, tomato, and saute. Um, onion. We got two burger patties. This is barbecue right here. Yeah. And then. Oh, you gave him two patties. I thought I was making. One patty, uh, one bun for him. Nah, mm. two buns. I'm getting, I'm eating regular bread. You made oh. one bun? I'll no, no, the other no. one regular. Don't worry, son. Oh, no, I made two because I think we're going to stack them on top. Um, okay, we got that. We got It's a little bit. That's it. That's it. A little bit. Like that. And then, oh. You want lettuce, tomato? No. No? no. Okay. No. I got my patty. Did I smash them? I like it. Well, salt on the fries? Huh? No, there's no salt. Salt with the cheese. Then we'll bake it up. Let's assemble a burger. So I am going to put spicy mayo. I'm going to try to get the rest out of the bottom. Did you see this, Jesse? Yeah, I saw that. I want enough, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, I think that's fine. There is still more in there. It was going to come down when I put it back in the fridge. I like to use every little drop. Yeah, I think I got enough. I'm going to turn my stove off here for my burgers then. Put some on the bottom bun. That's good enough. So, yeah. And then we'll do onions. Like that. We'll do lettuce. And then we'll do tomatoes. Like that. Take the lid off. Look at that. Look at that. Patty. And then Patty. Just on top. Look at that burger. Don't that look good? I'll leave that like that for photo. And yeah, I'll be back in a second. Look how good the burger and fries look. This is the Bubba Burgers, bacon cheddar, and then I added quail bolt seasoning to for the meat, and then I added um, Gouda and bacon on top. 
and let it all melt together and then the brioche buns that I toasted with butter and then I added the spicy mayo then the onion lettuce and tomato and yeah that's some barbecue sauce and that's my lunch I'm gonna eat my burger lunch was good we enjoyed that burgers and fries now yesterday my command hook fell off the back of my door because I have a command hook on the back of my door it holds my um backpack and towel and it fell off yesterday so I needed to buy a new one so yesterday I Amazon a new a two pack of command hooks I ordered the heavy duty 15 pound extra large command hook so I got these and I thought all to all of my like draw pulls and and like handles are say in brass so I'm like hmm I could just use my Russ Ulam Universal Advanced Formula metallic paint and primer in one pure gold so it like kind of matches so it's not this boring white so right now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna spray paint it so yeah see you in a bit peace alrighty so let's get started I'm just spray painting all around it. I'm not going to do the back part because, you know, it's a command hook. You put that against the wall with the sticky. So, just a quick little job here. Just like this. Make sure you get it all over. And then we let it dry. Just like that. So, let me actually show you. Look at that, and look how pretty that looks. Now, I am going to let that dry. And I'll see you in a little bit. Peace. A nice caramel macchiato. I am brewing a double shot. Press the button here to brew two shots of espresso. And then I'm going to add it here to my cup here. Did I already have milk, the vanilla sh uh, syrup, and then I also have ice. And then we'll add a double shot. And then we'll clean out the porta filler and do another shot. So it's three shots in total. And yeah, and then we'll have the camera off on top of that time with my camera here. So we have my shot here, my double shot. Now I am going to add it to here on top. I'll put that back there. I do another shot. So, And yeah, it looks dark, but once I mix it, it'll be okay. Look how good that looks. See a bit caramel drizzle on top, so that's what I'm doing. Like that. 
and it's just on top like that, that means you made it properly. Because sometimes the camera will sink, and yeah, that's how it goes. Lay it on. There we go. I'll try to get this thing on. Let me do it with two hands. So let's see what it is. I'm one more from mom. So all I did is I put ice, milk, vanilla, sweetened, unsweetened vanilla, and then I put cinnamon. And I used regular milk for her. So milk she drink. So yeah. The espresso, the double shot is brewing. There's a little part in there and it would turn on my hand. But come to my hand looks that way. So yeah. Hang on a second. I'm going to finish this little. It's brewing. I am going to pour it right here. Ooh, look at that. Watch the way it down. I'm going to give it to him. Oh, uh, here you go. Oh my goodness, Justin. How strong is that? It's a double shot. Bobby, why and I put milk, I um, put ice, and then I put young sweet and vanilla and cinnamon. I got mine. Here, look at mine. Look, this is mine. Yeah, that's really dark. Yeah, mommy. <laughs> so, we're gonna enjoy our espresso drink. And I'll see you in a little bit. I'll let you know how this looks. How clean this looks. I've been trying several ways to clean the pot because we have our new oil pot here, like the Japanese style one. So, I'm like scrubbing with where is it? The regular sponge here. And nothing's really coming off. And then I try. Um, using where's the other one right here this thing and that thing's really coming off then i'm like we have our like scrubber that we use to clean the bathtub up with i'm like let me try this and it sort of worked then like uh let me try something else so i got a sander machine here and i use this and this is what cleaned up and i just showed my dad he's like wait leave it like that i can take it to the shop where he works you know, and they have a ceramic machine because they use ceramic at his job for things or whatever. So he said he'll take it in and he'll like clean it all up with burnt oily grease. Because why buy a new one? Now we want to just buy a new one. Like, no, it's a good pot. It just needs a really good deep cleaning. That's what I've been trying to do. So my dad will take it with him to work and he'll get it all cleaned up. So yeah, that's what I wanted to show you now. Give me a little bit of I just breaded it with flour, cornstarch, um, steak seasoning, and then I use an egg, so dip, but so basically put it in the egg, then we put seasoned flour, cornstarch, and then back in the egg, and then in the seasoned flour, cornstarch again, so it's like double breaded, extra crispy. Put it, and now I'm going to add the sauce, the gravy, like a garlic sauce, gravy. Pour it on top. It's good. 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 But it's thick and roll like this. And then I have rice here that mom made. I put that in a little bit. I, mean, I just plated a piece with my rice and I am going to eat. It was good. Now I am going to put a command hook on the back of my door there. These have been drying all day since I've spray painted them earlier. So now on the back here. Put three of the stickies to get eight. So you have enough to do um, it once. Then you just have two extra stickers. So if you want to take it down, 
and do it again you would need to buy more of the command like stickies so that's what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna put the sticky and then we're gonna hang it up on the doors see you in a second strips on the back of the hook here now we're gonna peel them off like that. Now I'm gonna actually remove remove the man the cover the hook cover and then just to hold it for 30 seconds. So let me hold this and I'll be right back. So it's been 30 seconds. Now we put the hook cover back on and then we leave it there. It says for an hour but I am going to do 24 hours or even longer would be great so you guarantee that it's really stuck on the wall but yeah that's literally all you do but I do have an extra one that I'll put away and then also with the strips you can just go on Amazon and Amazon some more strips if you need more pretty much with any command hook you can literally go online and buy more of the strips for it so yeah anyways that's it I'll see you and continue this video tomorrow Please. I'm back, it's the next day. But oh my goodness, my dad just surprised me. Brand new Dutch oven. A brand new cast iron casserole pot. As you all know, I showed you yesterday, I was trying to clean the Dutch oven. We had the Martha Stewart because it has years of like burnt on grease. And you saw the bottom, like I showed you. Like the. I forget the exact color it was. It was like, you know, quite creamy color, but. I got to move it. Well, let's get it up the bottom. Let me remove it from the back and I'll show you. Look how nice it is. This is a black one with a silver handle here. It's so nice. It's a large one too. They make different sizes. And this goes, I believe my dad's only like 40 bucks. Whereas the Le Cruze goes for around like 300, 400 bucks. And actually, last week when we were in Connecticut, I think I showed you, I was looking through the window of the Cruze store. Those are nice, but they're expensive. And you can get a nice, you know, um, Dutch oven, but an expensive one budget friendly and it looks so good like it's an expensive one but I'll see you in a second too yes it is our older one it's just very dirty and like greasy and gross from years of frying <laughs> since we got it but like I told you yesterday but that's it he'll take it into his shop and he has a special like machine for like cast iron and this type of material so you can clean it and then this is our new one uh, like I just showed you. So yeah, level six four Dutch oven. So yeah, that's that. A few a box of package. It is my new coach, um, Oak Bro Cologne. So we're gonna unbox it. They had a like labor day sale going on. 
they even got samples in here. Darker Noor, Guy, Lord Chi, I got Carbon Rain, I got Expression, Expectional, because you are Tailor Made for Men, and then I got this one. Hell you Hey, whatever that word is. View. View the part view. And then, here it is, my coach open up. So, I'm gonna unbox it and I'll see you in a second. Peace. This is what the bottle looks like, as y'all can see. And also, the cologne smells so, so good. So, yeah. Anyway. Like, subscribe, comment, and ding the bell. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye. Peace out.